spot to see about tall brush. See, my Russian sucks. I'm just an old hillbilly. But every time I break out a Mosin and shoot this thing, I get a craving for Borston vodka. Hi, my name is Jim Green and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks in the town of Millbridge, Maine. Today's going to be a short little video on how to use the accessory kit that comes with a Mosin the Gant rifle. This one right here happens to be one of the several Mosins I have in my personal collection. A nice little Russian laminated stock. I've had several people ask me about cleaning guns and I do have a, a video on proper cleaning of uh, gun barrels. I'm probably going to make an updated version of that here in the near future because I have a few break-in techniques. But that's not for this video here. If you're lucky enough to find one of these, they used to come with them pretty regular. Sometimes uh, some of the Mosins that you pick up still have these. Take your little pouch and open it up. If you uh, dump all your tools out of the pouch, Take a look, you got several funky looking little tools here, and everybody's like, what do all these things do? Well, pretty simple. You have your cleaning rod attached to the rifle, it's threaded in place. Okay, once you have your cleaning rod out, what well, you're going to set this up is pretty simple. You notice right here, a pair, uh, pair of little holes on either side, or a hole all the way through the head of it. This is going to form the handle right here, part of the handle. You'll notice two opposing holes, one large hole, and on this end, one small hole. Pretty simple. Thread that up, line these two holes up right here. You'll take this little piece. You notice there's a wide flat spot that's going to act like a stock. Thread that through. There's your handle. Now you'll notice some of these are smooth and some of them are knurled. This one happens to be knurled. But you know what this fits? Just like in my other cleaning video, you got a large opening here and a small one there. This is actually going to protect the uh, rifling at the muzzle. So what you'll do is you'll feed it with a small hole towards the handle. And then this little part right here, which is pivots, this is going to hold a patch, just like a little cleaning jag. Screw that to the end. Now in case that gets stuck, you have a little notch right here on the handle, the big wide notch. Actually fits right there on that so you can tighten it or loosen it as you need to. Pull the trigger, pull the bolt out. And when you're ready to clean, you'll just simply take your little rag, a little bit of solvent, put it on the end right there. This is such a long gun, I got such a short counter space. <laughs> Go ahead and feed your patch, patch in there on the end of the rod, stick your uh, muzzle protector on the end, push it on through. Moving along to clean these Mosins, you got this funny looking little tool. Okay? Everybody looks at this and says, well, what is this? Well, it's kind of obvious you got a screwdriver point on one end, but you got all these little notches over here. Well, what do you do with these little notches? You have your bolt. To disassemble a Mosin bolt for cleaning is pretty darn simple. If you look right here, you got a little notch and a little tip that sticks into that. Well, you'll disassemble your bolt. It's easy if you're right-handed. It's a little more tricky if you're left-handed. The way I like to do it is I'll hold the bolt like this right here in my hand, put my thumb over the end of the bolt face. Grab the striker knob, pull out slightly until I clear these little forks and turn it this way. Okay? 
you want to turn it where you're not completely clearing the forks because you want this fork and this whole little piece right here to turn with it. See what I'm saying? Alright. Once you have it like that, you reach up here and just pull all this off together as one piece. Turn this. You see the little groove right here? Turn this. Slide the bolt face off. Now you're not quite done yet because this right here is a bolt tool. All I'll do is I'll hold the bolt like this with the firing pin against something soft. I'll hook these forks over the flat of the firing pin down here. Start turning it clockwise. There we go. Now reach up here, grab your striker knob, pull that striker knob off, pull the bolt body off, and your spring. There's your bolt disassembled for cleaning. Pretty darn simple. Alright, let's get a good close-up of putting this thing back together because there's a little trick I like to use here. Take your firing pin, drop your spring back on it, and your bolt body goes back on there. You see the little hook shape? Hook shape goes towards the firing pin. Towards the end of the firing pin, the striker end. Alright, push it all the way down and hold it. Stick your striker knob on there and start turning it. Get a good started. Now what you'll simply do is start turning counterclockwise. Okay, now you'll notice on here, on your Mosins, that's too, that's too far up. Right there. You'll notice on this end, if you look carefully, you'll see two little tick marks, one on either side, here and here. You want to line the screw slot up with those two little tick marks and make it flush. Okay, so now let's put this back together. Take your little bolt head, notice this slot right here, little T slot. You see the little tip right here on this end. Let me get something to point it out with. That little tip right there. Line that little tip up with that slot and then turn it until your locking lug lines up with this part of the bolt. On this end right here, you remember how the firing pin had two flat sides? Well, this slot is flat also. So what you'll want to do is line this up to this little fork right here goes over this back notch. Push that in. You got one more tip, one more slot to worry about. So this little tip sticking up right here and that little slot right there. Turn that until you get it lined up properly. All right. Now before you do anything else, here's where your little tool here comes in handy again. You already know what this notch is for, that's for removing the jag off the cleaner rod if it gets stuck. But you see these other three notches here, here, and here? This center notch is to check your firing pin protrusion. This notch and this notch goes on the outside of the recessed bolt face right there. So what you'll do is you'll simply take this, lay it across the bolt face like that with the center notch straddling your firing pin. You can move it back and forth just like that without the firing pin tip hanging up in that notch. You've got good firing pin protrusion. So now we're ready to get this bolt to go back into the gun. Hold it like this again. Put your thumb over the end so you can hold the bolt face in place. Grab your striker knob, pull out, and rotate away from you until this little notch lines up with the tip up in there. You see the little notch right here where my finger's at? See so how you want that to line up. Just like that right there. Now your bolt's ready to go back into the gun. Good to go. Another good use for this screwdriver is if you want to remove the gun from the stock, you can uh, push in on these two little pieces here and remove the bands. Then you've got this little catch right here, pull it down on that back, open up your magazine four plate, squeeze it, remove it. Right here you have one screw you can remove with that little screwdriver tool. You've got another screw back here to remove with this screwdriver tool. Back here, same tool for both screws. 
Make her like snug again. Safety on a Mosin again. I get guys telling me all the time, well, there's no safety on a Mosin. Actually, yeah, it is. It's a pretty darn positive safety. Simply with the, with the bolt cocked, grab your striker knob, pull out, rotate it to the left until it locks against the receiver, just like that. That's your safety on a Mosin. Pretty straightforward design. Pretty good gun as far as surplus rifles go. 762 by 54 is still reasonably cheap. That is your Mosin to get and how to clean it. Thanks for watching this latest video. Down East Gunworks is now shifting towards building custom rifles. If what you see in this video interests you, or if you have a special project in mind, contact the shop through Jim at DownEastGunworks.com. Special thanks to the folks that contributed to this project.